Hi, this is David from Ash IT, and you see in front of me today a selection of Dell's new Alienware and G15 gaming range laptops. As much as I've been enjoying using this new Alienware as per my review from yesterday, there is something that's annoyed me so much I feel I have to create a video on it. Now this isn't the sort of video I normally do on the channel, it is mostly about reviews and tips and tweaks. When opening these up to look at the internals, there's something I've found that's really, really quite annoying. Now all of these laptops have two times M.2 mounting slots and come with a 30mm SSD. No problem there. The slot accommodates both 30 and 80mm SSDs. My problem is the way that Dell mounts these new SSDs. In order to change the 30 to 80mm SSD you need at this mounting post. Again, not a problem there. I'll do an install guide for anyone wishes to see how to change it from a 30 to an 80 and I will do an SSD install guide later on. My problem is the fact that these mounting posts are bespoke to this laptop range and Dell are only putting one in the primary slot. This effectively stops you adding a second SSD without A, jerrigging your own support mount, or B, contacting Dell and spending hours on the phone being passed from pillar to post to try and get hold of one of these new mounting pillars. I mean, looking at this thing, you can see it must cost Dell pennies to make. Now, I'm not sure if this is Dell being downright mean or if they're being quite underhand by forcing you to buy a second SSD at a massively inflated price when you're ordering your laptop, but either way, this is totally not acceptable. Now I'm going to be emailing and also contacting Dell Alienware via Twitter for a response. But I wanted to make you all aware of this issue before you buy these laptops thinking you can just pop in a second drive. Now please share this around and also contact Dell and try and put pressure on them to stop this underhand practice. I'm sorry to have to put out such a negative video, but I just want to make everyone aware before considering buying this laptop, thinking that you'd have an easy second SSD option for the storage on this machine. Now hopefully this video has been useful for you. Uh, if you do want to see further content on this range, please uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And also, if you've got any comments about this issue or about anything else, please put them in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. If you've got a laptop and you have that second post, please also could you let me know. But I have opened four of these units so far and also have had other users that have received this machine that have missing this post. Lastly, thank you for watching.